Welcome to my show reel from the Retro Rides Gathering 2016 at Shelsley Walsh Hill Climb. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, it was a great day, an event that's been hosting hill climbing since the early 1900s. Um, I bet it's never seen cars like some of these go up the hill before though. Like this monster fire breathing Audi Quattro short wheelbase thing, which I think was a recreation rather than one of the originals. Blooming quick though. As was this Volkswagen K70, and I was thinking, that's not the right noise for a K70 to make, they have a four cylinder engine, but not this one, because someone's managed to cram a W8 into it, as you do, um, makes it quite quick and sound fantastic. This is my mate Jim Henshaw in his 1934 Ford pickup hot rod thing, uh, it's got a modern Vauxhall engine and ancient tyres and suspension. Uh, this is a Nissan Stagia, Stagia? Stagia, yeah, Skyline Estate thing. It's one of them, blooming quick, nice. Not quick at all was this Volkswagen Beetle, which has been a rally car since it was three years old, and I think it's been in the same ownership since then as well. Also saw it at Fast Car Festival. Uh, this is a Honda Civic, which I think might be the VT, which was the VTEC engine one. It's got a JDM front bumper on it. It's not a lot of ones we got here. It's very nice. This is a Ford Escort Estate, which is here for no more reason than I haven't seen a Ford Escort Estate for quite a while. And that's a Volvo 340. They're usually very slow, driven by Grandad. This one had a Clio Williams engine and was flying up the hill. Fantastic to see. My first car was a Mark II Fiesta. Mine was just a popular. This is a popular plus and it should have the rear wiper. I'm not sure what's gone wrong there. They need to sort that out as a matter of urgency. Bit of a contrast shot, a Trabant being chased by a Lancia Delta Integrale down the hill after their respective runs. One of them was fast. And here's a lovely lineup of Mazda MX-5s. Hold on a minute, that's a Nissan Micra K10, what's that doing in there? It wants to be sporty. Uh, here's some Saabs, uh, I've owned 900 and 9000, and my personal recommendation would be 9000. That's the one on the right. Uh, another pairing, Ginetta G15, imp based kit car type device, and a Volkswagen Caddy with no front bumper, because that looks good. Uh, here, here's some lower cars, um, I don't mind lowering, I wouldn't drive them myself. Um, the Hunter looks quite nice, and the Lotus is even lower than they already were, and has one, two, three, four, five, six trumpets on its engine. Hmm, that would suggest six cylinders, which is more than they usually had. Uh, this has also got more cylinders, it's a Mazda pickup on air suspension with a Lexus V8 in it. That must be very entertaining, I'd like to drive that. I'd also like to drive this Nissan Patrol. Um, the event's all about variety and it's no more better summed up than in that shot really. Or perhaps this Bedford CF next to a Mitsubishi L300 Delica. Uh, I'd quite like a Delica. Um, I'll take one without a man on the roof if you please, it's better for aerodynamics. Volvo 164 uh, next to a 740 with American spec headlamps. So it looks different, I'm not sure it looks better. Uh, there's a Trabant again next to an XJS this time. 0.6 versus 5.3 litres. I think it'll lose more tiny tots. We've got Fiat 126s, uh, one very low with very weird wheels, and one on normal suspension looking like an off roader. Uh, there's more variety, and this on Sunny Bosuzoku, you'll be able to read about that in the autumn issue of Retro Japanese magazine. And I quite like the van. Is that the Irv van? It might be an Irv van or a cab star, one of the two. Uh, it's a Honda Acti, uh, quite funky little things, uh, unless you're driving one, I suspect. Tiny engines, probably not much fun. Ah, now this I do like a Vauxhall Cavalier SRI 130 Estate that someone has made. A very fine looking car. Vauxhall should have made it themselves. Uh, Holden Camira was the um, car that provided that back end, um, the kits sent over from Australia. Uh, that's uh, HA Viva Van, um, which has actually been on roadkill, uh, which is quite exciting. It's very fast. Uh, it's a lovely Vauxhall Cavalier, which reminds me of the launch photos, and an Astra GTE Estate. They never made any of those either, but that looks nice. As does this Citroen Ami Estate. Look at it confounding the public. Uh, they just don't know what to make of it because they're so unusual. 
I mean, look at that. It looks like an elephant has sat between the headlamps. And someone designed that. Flaminio Bertoni, in fact. Not that Bertoni, a different one. Uh, Talbot Samba, and next to a Simca 1000, a rear engine car there, and a Matra Morena three seater sports coupe. Nice bit of oddity right there. Oh dear. Uh, they decided to paint this in the field, and this poor Montego estate now looks dreadful. My dad used to own one of those. It looked much nicer. My dad also used to own a Renault 9, a 1.2 Broadway, and when a family of six of us were in it, the suspension probably looked pretty much like that. This one had a Megane engine. Uh, Transit Mark II facelift. I do like these. Although, so did Land Rover. They copied that nose treatment and put it on the Discovery pretty much exactly like that. Uh, Fiat Regatta uh, just changed hands on the Auto Shop Forum and was heading to its new home of Northern Ireland. And Tony Harrison, the photographer, uh, takes some fantastic shots. That's his Mazda 323. Uh, I've run out of time because we're already into looking at this gorgeous little Austin A35, which has been stalked by a BMW Shark Nose 5 Series. Uh, how to make friends in the field, open the bonnet on your Nissan Skyline Hakusoka and uh, everyone will come flocking. It wasn't even a twin cam GTR, but um, yeah, these Skylines really are very attractive cars. There's next to a more modern R32 and that's the back end, look at that, gorgeous. Uh, this is a big thing, uh, American probably, I'm going to say Lincoln. Uh, I don't know very much about American cars, I should have taken the photo out really. Oh, this, this Celica is quite interesting, an ex-works car, um, but converted to right-hand drive at the works because it was then sold to an Irish driver. Nice car. This thing was blooming quick. It's an RX-7 uh, Wankel rotary engine, and you're thinking, how is it quite so ridiculously fast? That's how. Look at the size of that turbocharger. It dwarfs the alternator. It's massive. Uh, this imp didn't have a turbocharger, I don't think, but it was still pretty darn rapid. Um, nice that it got out of the field. And a Cadillac Brougham hearse thing. This, this was fantastic. It wasn't very quick. It sounded like it was working very hard to get up the hill very slowly. Uh, this RX-7 looks like it's going really quickly. It wasn't. I think it was broken. Whereas this Renault Extra van definitely had some extra under the bonnet. That was shifting. This TR7... Uh, sounded fantastic and looks gorgeous. That pan doesn't really work there. This Triumph Herald has an MX-5 engine. That was also really quick. Oh, these are coming quick and fast. Uh, there's a Citroen AX. They're, they're fast. Um, Merc W123 Estates. They're not fast. That was very slow. Uh, this Austin A35 appears to be breathing fire uh, as it came back down the hill. That was quite exciting. It also made an awful lot of noise going up the hill but wasn't really that quick. So I'll never look at that Cavalier, just because they're gorgeous, aren't they? I mean, I know I've shown you some nice cars in this reel, but look at that. Fantastic. Uh, we're getting near the end now, and there's a bit more contrast. That's Mick Ward's Simca pickup. That's a rarity. And a Slam Geo, probably VTEC Civic. Ah, oh, and this is a nice pair to pretty much end on. This um, American, definitely American, estate thing. Actually towed that Lancia to the show and I'll leave you with a Honda Accord. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.